Hello there, this is Jeff from uh, EDS Inc. Shandon, and tonight we're going to do a little bit something different. We're not going to be working in the shop. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to read mic micrometers, and uh, I can understand where those that might be beginners may have a very difficult time understanding the concept, or maybe even following along with some of the machinist programming that we see here, the, the verbiage that they use and what it means. And so we're going to go through some of that here uh, tonight. Uh, we can call this uh, micrometer reading for dummies because that's what I was and as I'm learning uh, is becoming uh, pretty evident uh, that it's not that difficult. It's pretty simple. So what we'll do is we'll first look at a couple of micrometers. I'm going to turn this around and show you our micrometers and then we'll go to this whiteboard behind me here. I've got a little drawing of the mic up there and we'll discuss uh, the parts and pieces of it and uh, how it works and how you read it. And uh, I'll give you some close-ups of some, some of our uh, micrometers so that you can uh, uh, see for yourself uh, how you can read uh, these instruments. So uh, uh, join me tonight. Okay, what you see in front of you is a variety of different mics. This is a, a little Starrett, and uh, this is a Model 120. And uh, with this here, you can, or it's not 120, it's a 230. And uh, you can probably see, I'm going to have to make sure I have the video set up. You can see here on the mic itself that uh, it has several components. This is the anvil. And this here uh, is the shaft that uh, moves back and forth as you turn it in and out. So once you make a measurement, uh, your measurement is between your anvil and the tip of this. And these are all carbide tipped. I don't know if all of them are or not, but uh, most of mine, I believe, are all carbide tipped. Uh, so they uh, don't wear too, too badly. Uh, one thing that you want to do when you use these is, is these contact points here. Uh, are very sensitive. So if there's just a little bit of uh, dirt, uh, any uh, dust on it, it'll affect your uh, measurement. Uh, when I was uh, checking these things out, I found that uh, even a, just a little uh, speck of something on there would change my dimension. So you want to make sure that those uh, points are clean. You can wipe them with a cloth or you can actually take a piece of paper uh, close this around the paper and slide the paper out and that cleans the end as well. But what I want you to see, and hopefully you'll be able to see that on that, is the various measurements. You have measurements here, you have measurements across here, and you have measurements around here. Uh, this is like a veneer, uh, veneer uh, caliper because this will actually measure in tens, uh, ten thousandths of an inch. So. Uh, you can measure that fine with this instrument. The dimensions that we have here, this is basically a uh, zero to one inch micrometer. So uh, it measures anything between zero and one inch. So when you see the numbers here, these numbers here are all basically tenths of an inch. And we'll show this on the blackboard as well when we get to it. Uh, so these uh, made the large numbers, the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I think you can see those hopefully. Uh, those are your uh, uh, tenths of an inch. And um, then you have little lines between them and each one of those little teeny lines between, uh, I'll try to get a pin up here so you can see it. Each little line here is 25 uh, hundreds of an inch. So you you first you have to count several different points on this micrometer. First you count uh, this dimension which is a, a tenth. Then you count how many of your uh, twenty-five thousandths or twenty-five hundredths of an inch you have. And then you go to this and you line up, you find your where your lines line up now, let's see if I can get that to where you can see it. 
you can see all those vertical lines here and you have lines up here on on the upper part of your your, your I don't know if you can see that or not <coughs> but you find which one of these lines are lined up and the number down here tells you how many ten thousandths of an inch you are so that's kind of how that works and like I said again we'll be uh, talking about this a little bit more on uh, once we get to the blackboard so this uh, this one here this uh, particular micrometer is designed for measuring depth and this uh, only measures to the thousandths it doesn't have a vernier scale on it so you can't uh, measure uh, ten thousandths of an inch but you can effectively measure down to a thousandths of an inch with this and then you have other mics like you see back in this box here uh, they're different size the one is a zero to one inch one to two inch and two to three inch and all of these uh, when you get them in the box typically they have if you notice the two on this this is exactly two inches so you can use this to test your micrometer to make sure that it's reading correctly and if it's not uh, there's an easy adjustment around the collar there's a little hole uh, let's see Oops, let's find it. here we go on this one you can see it easier there you go uh, there we go you can see that little hole there a little tool goes in that and turns that to get your micrometer setting uh, correctly so uh, so you can you can uh, get these all lined up just perfectly if you'd like so let's go over to the blackboard and now that you see the different varieties this here measures uh, six inches so uh, this is a six inch uh, micrometer and here's the standard for it right here so that you can uh, check its its accuracy and this comes with uh, the mic so okay so they have all sorts of different sizes uh, but the main thing they all work about the same they, they're either going to read up to thousandths or ten thousandths of an inch so let's go uh, look at our uh, board now and uh, we'll, we'll look at how this is all figured out okay we're here here at the uh, blackboard here or the whiteboard rather and uh, uh, you can see my little drawing of the micrometer and what we're going to do is kind of go through each one of those uh, measurement points and discuss what they mean so when we look at this first these uh, these uh, vertical let's call them vertical if you have your your tool laid out like this and you have a bunch of small marks right here and they're marked, the, you have uh, some larger lines, and they're marked with large numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes all the way down to uh, uh, 9, okay? What those are measuring is tenths of an inch, or 1 tenth inch. The decimal for that is 0 0.10, okay? So that's what you're measuring when you uh, are reading those points. So if you have uh, a, uh, uh, a part that you're measuring between these points, and you say uh, one is the last number that is uh, listed on that, well, let's, let's go back for a second. Depending upon the size of your micrometer, for instance, if this is a uh, six inch micrometer, then you have six inches across here. It goes from six to seven inches, right? Okay, so past six, we're gonna be using this dimension. So we're gonna have uh, six inches. Now, if we look at the lines here, only the one is showing here, okay? So that's point 10. Okay, now we count these little lines uh, that are up here, and we have 1, 2. 
we don't have the third line showing. So we only count the first two lines. So those lines are uh, each equal to 25 hundredths of an inch. Now 25 hundredths of an inch, it would be like uh, 0.025 or 25 one hundredths. Okay? And you could say that's a quarter of an inch. Uh, no, not a quarter of an inch. But yeah, I messed that up. <clears throat> so uh, it was 0 0.250, it would be a quarter of an inch. But we're, we're going over one more decimal point. Okay? So hopefully that was understandable. So we have 25, 50. So now we put over 0 0.050. Now the next dimension that we want to measure are these lines on the shaft. And each one of those are numbered 2. And for the sake of argument, uh, we're going to say that this is on 9. Okay, and then the next one would be 0. So, and, and this one would be 8. Okay, so uh, notice the 9 is above the line, the 8 is below it. So we're going to take the 8, and that is going to be uh, 8 thousandths of an inch. So 0, 0, 8. Okay, so that's the next part of our dimension. Now, if we were measuring ten thousandths of an inch, we would go to the next horizontal lines that are along the shaft uh, of your, on the vernier part of your, your uh, micrometer. And what we would do, each one of those lines is numbered, uh, just like uh, these lines are numbered and the larger num lines are numbered here. And so those small lines are all numbered. And what we're going to do we're going to look for one of these lines on the, the shaft that you turn <coughs> lined up perfectly with one of these horizontal lines. When we find that, then that is the dimension that we're going to use. <coughs> so we're going to say in this case that it is on 3. So that would be point zero, 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 and 3. So what is our total then? Well, the, the uh, micrometer is a 6 to 7 inch micrometer, so we're measuring 6 inches plus. So <coughs> we've got 6 inches, and then we have uh, all these decimal points here. So we got 0 0.3, we got 8, 5, 1. 6.1583. So that would be what we would read off of that mic uh, using those scales. Now I'm going to show you these vertical or horizontal lines and how they need to line up uh, with my uh, steret. Hang on for just a second. Okay, here's the steret. Hopefully you can see that clearly. And if you look at it, I have to hold it still so you can read it. If you see that, the, the, uh, it's lined up with the number three horizontal line. And so that's how we would measure that. If it was lined up with a different bottom number along this column, then it would be a different dimension. So that's what we're calling it. Okay, now these on, on these sterrets, they have a really neat feature here. All the way around the side are decimals of fractions. So uh, you might have uh, uh, a, uh, this is all 30 seconds. So 1 30 seconds, 2 30 seconds, 3 30 seconds. It goes the whole gamut of them all the way down here giving you the, the uh, decimal figure for that. So then you can take that 1583 and you can go and look for that 
uh, 530 seconds is uh, 1562 and uh, I got 60 fourths over here so maybe I'll find it over here uh, doesn't look like I'm going to find it here the closest thing is uh, 530 seconds which is 1562 so we're slightly over that so we don't have a match but at any rate it's kind of neat because on your on your steret it breaks things down you got 64 here on this side here you have sixteenths and you have thirty seconds and this is showing what the decimal point is for an eighth of an inch a quarter of an inch three eighths half inch uh, five eighths uh, and uh, three quarters and seven eighths so that's kind of handy it has has it all written right on there uh, on your uh, uh, little uh, micrometer so that you have the information you need to translate the decimal points on this. So basically what we're reading to start with on, on this, we start with tenths of an inch, which is this number. So we've got a decimal point in one. The next one is 25 uh, 25 hundredths of an inch. So we're going like this. And then this also reads thousandths of an inch. So uh, this is going to be uh, uh, whatever the number is. And the thousandths column would be right here where the 5 is. So if it was 9, then it'd be the 9 would go there. Okay? And then these horizontal digits are your ten thousandths of an inch. So that would be your next decimal point over. Okay? So, uh, and that's how we come up with the addition. So we just add each one of those up, uh, each uh, read, until we get our total and uh, combine them. So you can do that on a calculator or after a while you'll probably be able to do it in your mind of practicing it. So that's kind of the uh, the uh, long and short of it. Well, have you ever heard somebody talking? They're saying, "Well, I'm talking about a thousandth of an inch." Well, that is one thousandth of an inch. Then somebody will say a tenth. Well, what they're talking about is this decimal point. If they're talking about ten thousandths, they'll say ten thousandth, and that is one over 10, zero, zero, zero. And that decimal point is zero, 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 one. That is one ten thousandths of an inch. So uh, when we get down to this, I mean, when you're talking about a thousandths of an inch, it's something that, that uh, you barely see. Once you have your mic set down to a thousandths of an inch, and why don't you try that and just look between those two points and you're gonna see that it's, it's difficult to see that thousandths of an inch with your eye. And a lot of times in machining, the thousandths of an inch is okay. But if you're doing tooling or anything like that, anything that uh, has to be super precise, then you're gonna go down to the 10 thousandths of an inch to uh, uh, fix that or to make sure that it's correct. So anyway, that's uh, my take on reading a micrometer and, and how you can do it. I hope you enjoyed this. Well, thanks for joining us again this week on EDS Inc. Shanded. Hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, learned a little bit. Uh, I'm always learning and gaining more insight. I'm not a machinist, so uh, I have to learn a lot of the nomenclature and that sort of thing that uh, is used in this myself and uh, learning the, the, what the dimensions mean is very helpful to me and hopefully it was helpful to you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Thank you much. Bye.